In an official statement, the FARC party called on Colombians to keep pushing for peace and sent support to Sandrich, who has been on a hunger strike. Jesus Sandrich was arrested for alleged drug trafficking on Monday at the request of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. In a press conference, FARC leader Ivan Marquez says the detention threatens the Havana Accords and leaves the peace process in a critical situation. With the capture of our colleague Jesus Santrich, the peace process is at its most critical point and threatens to become a complete failure. FARC supporters have been protesting against the arrest outside the Colombian Attorney General's office. They are calling for the Havana Agreement to be implemented in full and are criticizing the Colombian government for submitting to the detention request from the United States. This is extremely serious because it sends a disastrous demoralizing message and creates a lot of uncertainty. In addition to the undermining of the Habana Agreement, it's a very bad message for the Colombian people, for the former combatants, and for the peace that our country so badly needs. Now, the Colombian government says the detention was carried out according to the rule of law and should not affect the Havana agreements. Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos gave a press conference shortly after the news broke on Monday evening. The accord is very clear. He who commits a crime after the signing of the final agreement will be subject to prosecution on the regular jurisdiction for new crimes committed. The general prosecutor of the nation has informed me of the results of rigorous investigations. There is concrete and conclusive evidence that prove that Jesus Hernandez, known as Jesus Santrich, has committed the crime of drug trafficking following the signing of the agreement. The DEA is accusing Jesus Sandrich of exporting 10 tons of cocaine with a street value of $320 million to the United States. Now many in Colombia see this as an attempt by the U.S. to sabotage the peace agreement.